Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Claire and in this episode I am going to talk about Christmas and particularly things that you can buy for Christmas for that gardener in your life. I thought I'd cover things from the smaller stocking fillers up to some bigger items. So let's just dive straight in. Number one on my list is one of these. This is a thermos glass drinking cup. All you do with it obviously is make your drink, screw the lid on. You've seen many of these before I'm sure. Why I would advocate for one of these for a gardener is to operate it, you don't have to touch anything on the top. They just press, well unless it's in lock mode, um, so you can lock it so it's in your bag it doesn't spill. So that do that with clean hands and then when you get to your plot or you're in your garden unlock it before you get dirty. But to drink from it you just have to press this button. Can you see this button? So they don't, when they've got dirty hands, but gardening in your life doesn't have to flip a lid that they're going to drink through afterwards. So these, I've had these for a long time when I've been hiking, so I put them in my backpack. And I mean, I don't have milk in a drink anyway, but I have to admit, I only make um, Tassimo coffees, so they're not piping hot anyway, are they? Um, so yeah, they're not piping hot, and this keeps things far warmer than I expected it ever would do. It's still too hot for me to drink a lot of the time. And to go along with that, I also have, delving into my bag of mischief, a chilli bottle. Now I only have this size, which is 500ml. I believe they do 750ml and potentially even um, a, a litre size bottle. These chilli bottles are the bee's knees. I find them so much handier and less breakable than some of the expensive thermos flasks. So these are double skinned and they keep cold things cold and hot things hot. And when I say they keep hot things hot, they really keep hot things hot. I mean, I'm impressed with this mug, but these make the mug look terrible. Now, I mean, this is the brand Chili's. I bought it myself. There are other cheaper brands on Amazon. So just a double um, skinned, hot cold drinking bottle. Absolutely brilliant. Another stocking filler, because, well, you know, it is cold, is think about getting them a lovely hat. And this hat is waterproof and windproof. So you don't have to compromise on looks for a hot head and a dry head. So, yeah, consider just one of those. Every gardener over winter will appreciate a nice warm hat. So, yeah, one of those. Obviously, to go with a hat, a pair of thermal gloves. Maybe not ones like mine, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but, but these are covered in glitter because I bought some Christmas decorations at the same time as I bought these gloves. Well, these are waterproof, fleece lined gloves. Um, so these will be absolutely perfect for gardening over winter because we do get through lots of things like this. They get dirty and I don't know what these will do, but my normal gloves, so if you can just buy normal gloves if you want, um, they get sort of crispy when you get wet mud on them and soil on them and they do need washing so you can never have too many pairs of gloves but yeah nice and waterproof thermal gloves would not go amiss if the person you're buying for likes to keep lists then maybe consider a gardening journal for them there's absolutely oodles of different gardening journals online um this one i i don't know where it came from it was bought for me but yeah, I'm going to use it next year in a little bit, I think. It's handy because I have this desk here, so I can just, there you go, it's in the desk now, ready for next year. The next thing to talk about is tools. Now, I've bought quite a few cheap secretaires, and I mean, they're okay, and I keep them in various places because I have a few, we have a few different gardens around the farm, so I need more than one pair anyway. Um, but yeah, secateurs, buy a good pair because these are like cutting through butter compared to the cheap Amazon ones. Um, I don't actually know what make they are, but I bought them from a garden center. But yeah, secateurs, believe you me, they'll want more than one pair. So don't worry if you think that they might already have some because we lose these all of the time. So definitely, definitely a good idea. Right. I guess one of the best things that I've bought myself is a lot of the wolf garden range these are shamefully filthy they need a good clean don't they i have the longer handle as well and then i have the short hand tool handle 
Um, Wolf Garten are they're just brilliant. It's just such a simple a simple system, and they're really great tools. Uh, I mean, I I absolutely absolutely love them. I, I recommend using them. Um, most gardeners don't have all of the tools, so even if they have a hint list, or you ask them if they've got Wolf Garten, and if there's any attachment ends that they would like. They sort of range from about 20 to probably about 50 pounds for the really expensive, like the tilling type attachments. Um, but yeah, these are good. The one I actually use the most, and I've just pulled it out of the flower bed. It often appears in pictures when I'm doing a tour in the polytunnel because it's just stuck in the edge of the bed, is their little weeding and planting out knife. Now, I know that a lot of people have the Hori Horries. And I mean, I think Hori Horries are absolutely brilliant. But I don't have one because a lot of them have a blade on a specific edge for cutting and um, so that you can sort of harvest things. And I'm, I'm left handed, so the blade is on the wrong side for me. Um, so I, I figured that this, as a cheaper alternative, does the job of what I would be able to do with a Hori Hori perfectly well. And I think it can stand being a little bit more abused than a Hori Hori because it is just plastic and metal. This isn't an attachment. These come as a, a whole thing. You know, you can't put... That, that end on here it's a solid handle but I think that was 12 pounds so I use this probably one of the, the most things I use tool wise in the garden and then we get down to seed boxes something practical I started off with this seed box um, and I wanted a metal one so that if I brought it across to the plot and I left it in the shed or the greenhouse I didn't have to worry about rodents because obviously it's rodent proof so, and that was my main concern, especially if you've got peas or beans in there. This one is rather cute. It says happiness in a box on the lid. But you soon will grow out of that if you're doing a lot of growing. So what I have now is one of these. And now a lot of people I've seen have these. These are photo boxes. So these are for six by four inch photo. You can buy them for seven by five inch photos. And you've got lots of different things in and all these different color coded compartments in. And you just pop your seeds in. And then with a Dymo, I put some labels on there. You can see the label on there. And use a Dymo to make those labels. So yeah, these, absolutely brilliant, brilliant. When it comes to setting up seedlings and growing on seedlings for the next year, you can't go wrong with some seed trays as well. These I bought from ContainerWise. I think everybody gets them from ContainerWise that buys this type. They are rigid plastic. You know, they're not going to um, go brittle and break after a season in a greenhouse with the heat in there. Um, you can really get your finger inside to push your seedling out. So it, they're just absolutely brilliant. I've I think that they've revolutionised growing on for me and they just seem to pop easily into place when you pop them out and grow them on into the main beds. So they come in different sizes. I've only got these two at the moment, but I do plan on getting some more. If you're watching Duncan, that is a hint for you, definitely. Um, they are expensive or they might seem expensive for seed tray, but you will unlikely have to buy any again. So yeah container wise seed trays and then on the same vein as that I've been treated to a few of these so that I can start things on my kitchen window sills these are from Garland they are a deep root success kit now some people do buy the really cheap sort of see-through green versions of these can't get one out now I'll start being around um, so obviously you, you sow your seeds in them, but when it comes to planting them up, up, you just pull them apart like this. So you don't have to damage the roots, but they are reusable. Pop them back together again and you can use them next year. So they come with a tray, but you can obviously put a bit of capillary matting in the bottom and some water in there and even a lid. I have three of them and I think they're absolutely brilliant. I think you can buy them from Grown Local and I think I've seen on JB's video that they're only £12 from Grow Local 
Um, Duncan actually bought these from Amazon before we saw JB's video. So I think they were about 15, 16 pounds each, which I still think is a bargain for what they are. Another thing for the winter months that sometimes is overlooked is a good head torch. I've used this with trail running. This is a Petzl head torch. It's got a rechargeable battery pack in it, but it does also take normal batteries as well. So if it ran out, as long as you've got some spare batteries, you'll be fine. Um, it's brilliant, lasts a long time. I won't, I don't know whether it'll blind you if I turn it on, but it's got three settings. So if you have a gardener that goes up to their plot after work in winter, a head torch is probably gonna be a great thing so that they don't have to carry anything, um, a torch in the hands. They've got their hands free as they're walking to their plot. So yeah, don't overlook a head torch. Simple, simple thing but don't overlook it and, and buy a decent one. And the final thing I've got is I've been using trail cams around the farm for years. Um, I, I don't know how much this one is. We've had it for a very long time from Amazon. We stick it on a tripod and put it about the place. Um, we've had it where we've had issues with rats in the cow sheds um, and all sorts. So I have recently used it though around the plot and I caught the rats and I, I thought it was rats not squirrels but it did pick them up so I think trail cams are brilliant anyway whether your gardener has a problem on their allotment or in their kitchen garden or not trail cams are just they're just brilliant anyway they're such a fun thing to see what comes and goes in your garden and you I mean you can use it on a bird table it doesn't have to be looking for pests so uh, yeah trail cam that would be another good suggestion it's rain. These are also brilliant. I have two sets of these. They're just together at the moment. I'll pull them apart to two there. Um, at the moment, I've just been using the edges because that's enough to cover this basil. Wash covers are absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure when I'm direct sowing in early spring, I'll be using them outside as well. And that is how you put them on. They have vents across the top as well. I have shown them in a video before, but they do come with pegs to peg them into the ground as well. I think there were two for £27. Um, they do have them on Amazon, but I think I was buying through Thompson & Morgan anyway, so you might as well buy direct from them, unless you have to pay for postage, obviously, and then that's a good reason to go to Amazon. But yeah, these are great. You could always buy your gardening friends some of these Christmas decorations to add to their tree. I think they're very pretty. I may have bought a few myself. There's lots of really extravagant gifts that you can buy your gardener if they don't have a greenhouse or a polytunnel like I do. There's plenty of cold frames. Lots of those are on offer at the moment. So you could buy them a cold frame. I'm sure that would be well and truly received camping stove maybe if they wanted one of those in it if they've got a shed on their plot maybe that would go down well i have a little gas stove for when my my sister visits but i'm not going to tell you to buy them a greenhouse or a polytunnel i mean if you really want to i'll give you my email address i think that's it for my list really um there's many things that I will want or need over the time, but they're the things that spring to mind that give you a broad range of prices for the gardener enthusiast in your family or friend group. Um, it's the 10th of December today, so there's plenty of time to still go out there and grab something. Local garden centres or Amazon. Shop local is probably the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, I hope I've helped you with a few problem solvings there. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Look after yourselves. Bye. Stick around for the bloopers. Start a game. Oh God! <laughs> Stools just broke. <laughs> well, my stools just broke on me. Don't buy me any chocolate, anybody. I really need to go on that diet. <laughs> oh dear, you can't make it up. I guess that means I need a new stool for Christmas too. Add that to the list, please. <laughs>